Hey, what's up guys? I got a very fast Wi-Fi 7 router that I'm going to unbox and review. This is the ASUS RTBE96U. I'm going to do my full-on speed test range test using my following Wi-Fi devices. And let's take a quick look at the box before we unbox this thing. This thing's supposed to be crazy fast, has a very fast speed rating of BE19000. It's a tri-band, so it has the 2.45 and the 6 gigahertz band. Wi-Fi 7 support, it is backwards compatible with previous wireless standards, has the 320 megahertz channels uh, for the Wi-Fi 7, it has AI Protection Pro, which is pretty much kind of like a network security that's included in the price, so you don't have to pay anything extra, you can boost your mobile gaming, it has two 10 gig ports, it has a bunch of other ports, so let's just go ahead and unbox this thing and test this thing out, really. It has eight antennas as well, so it's a stop, this is, you know, if you have trouble, call us, uh, gives you some basic information right here. And this is the beast of a router, uh, very well packaged. Man, this thing is really nice. Asus has been making some very nice routers. I really like their GT6, uh, their ET12 Pro. Uh, for the price, I also like their uh, XT9. So they've actually been doing a pretty good job uh, with their routers. So this is the first Wi-Fi 7 router that I'm testing uh, that's from asus basically so let's actually well let's take out one of the antennas just to see what it looks like few moments later all right guys so here it is with all its glory it says wi-fi 7 i really like the design of it it looks really really good kind of has that uh, gt6 kind of look so we have it looks like led indicators here and uh, the different pretty much options here so internet 10 gig 1 gig wps 6 gigahertz 5 gigahertz 2.4 and the power uh, we have a WPS button, we have an LED button. Um, if we look on the side, so we have some ports. So basically we have our 10 gig WAN port, which is right here. We have our 10 gig LAN port, which I would run this to my unmanaged 10 gig switch. And then we have four other gigabit ports. We have a factory reset. We have two USB ports. One is 2.0, the other one's 3.0. Uh, so this one is most likely for sharing your hard drive on your network. Don't expect crazy fast speeds, but it is kind of nice that that option is there. We have the power on and off, and this is where the power plugs in. And yeah, so the antennas are adjustable. So not super, but uh, with decent adjustments. And we, this is pretty much the bottom. So we have the power cord plugs in like that. This is 100 to 240 volts. Output is 65 watts max. That's what the plug looks like. We have a CAT6 Ethernet cable, which is nice that it's CAT6. And then we have some manuals inside. So warranty, instruction guides, quick startup guide, and things like that. So these things are fairly straightforward to set up. Uh, so it gives you some instructions on how to connect it and everything. And so I set this beast up as my main router. No issues during setup, no issues during um, no drop, something like that. I had a chance to do all the speed test, range test, have all those numbers here. I also added the Galaxy S24 Ultra to those speed tests and range tests. In fact, the results were pretty similar to the OnePlus 11, which is what I would expect since these are both Wi-Fi 7 devices. Now, something worth mentioning, not something to do specific with ASUS, but if you have a Pixel 8 or an 8 Pro, this has Wi-Fi 7. However, with any Wi-Fi 7 router I've tested, not just with ASUS, with Netgear and the uh, TP-Link, other ones, uh, Eero, I can't get faster than pretty much Wi-Fi 6E speeds out of this thing. So with the Samsung and the OnePlus, I could get over three gigabits, uh, assuming I'm close enough to the router and I'm doing an internet speed test, or a local speed test, but with the Pixel 8 Pro, I get to pretty much just under two gigabits per second, which is very, very fast. But if this actually really supported Wi-Fi 7, unless there's an update coming for this thing, I, I should be able to see over three, which is what I see with these two devices. So if you have a Pixel 8 or an 8 Pro and you're doing speed tests, you're not gonna see the speeds that I'm seeing with these two devices. So just as a heads up. Let's just jump straight in with internet speed test. So 
no matter how fast your router is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speed. So just because this has 10 gig ports doesn't mean I'm actually gonna get 10 gig speeds out of this thing if I'm doing an internet speed test. So my internet speeds are five gigabits per second upload and download, which are fairly fast speeds. And when I do a speed test on an ethernet connected device that can support those speeds, I actually get the full five gigs up and down, so all good to go there. And with the Wi-Fi 7 devices, considering these are Wi-Fi devices, these are phones, and the speeds I get out of these things are absurd. So the Wi-Fi 7 devices, I got just pretty much like 3.3 gigabits per second download and 2.3 gigabits per second upload, which is absurdly fast for a Wi-Fi device. And the Wi-Fi 6E was slower, but still also very, very fast. Again, nowhere near Wi-Fi 7 speeds, but very, very good speeds. Now, to find the true performance of this mesh system, I have to do a local speed test. So that way I get rid of my ISP, my internet service provider, and the public speed test server from the equation. Because uh, sometimes when you're, when you're doing internet speed tests, um, sometimes it connects to the server and the speeds are like super slow and, and that's really just because the server is busy and stuff. So that's why I like the local speed test. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer and then that isolates the router. And I, <coughs> in fact, I've done a whole video on this. If you guys are interested, I'll link that below. Looking at these speeds, there is an improvement, especially in the upload spec, upload section of the Wi-Fi 7 device. Uh, but overall phenomenal speeds. Also with the Wi-Fi 6E, definitely an improvement over just the internet speed test, but really got some solid phenomenal numbers out of this thing for the Wi-Fi devices. Next we get into range tests. So range will vary based on location. So if you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers and thick walls and everything like that, essentially more obstructions equals less range. So the more of an open area you're in, the typically you're gonna get more range. So results will vary drastically. So at 20 feet away inside my place, I'm getting crazy fast speeds, hardly a drop. Well, there, uh, there is a drop for the upload speeds, but still absurdly, absurdly good speeds. At 50 feet, this is when I'm outside my place, so I'm actually in the front yard. Uh, a little bit more than that, basically. And when I'm doing the speed test, very, very good speed. So definitely a drop, but solid numbers. And at 100 feet, I'm across the street and still getting some crazy fast numbers out of this thing. Now, before we jump into setup and configuration, I quickly want to show you guys a size comparison for this ASUS. So this is a typical can size. It is 355 milliliters and this is how big this router is. Just to give you guys a frame of reference, I also have the ASUS XT9, so you guys could see like it's, I mean, this, this router is really massive. And it's massive because it's very powerful as you guys saw from the speeds uh, and, and the range tests. Range tests were phenomenal on this thing. Okay, so next we get to setup and, uh, set and configuration, which used the ASUS router app. And it's available both on iOS and on Android. And it, Asus gives you a ton of options. And in those options, you also get AI protection, which is included in the price. And you also get parental controls included in the price. Now, some mesh systems offer this stuff in the price and others do not. So Asus is one of those that does include that, which is really, really good. And if you go, if, if there's not enough options in the Asus router app, which there are a lot, you can go into the web page, uh, which you, you would just type in the default gateway, uh, which for this would be 192.168.50.1. Um, and then you, when you access that, there's even <laughs> way more options there. Um, there's even specific Wi-Fi 7 options if you go to the professional tab in the Wi-Fi. Uh, but in terms of uh, the main things to cover is you could separate out the band. So you could have a 2.4 gigahertz SSID, a 5 gigahertz and a 6 gigahertz SSID. Or you can have a 2.4 and a 5 gig SSID and a separate 6 gigahertz SSID. Or you could have a 2.4 and 5 and a 6 gigahertz into one SSID. SSID is your Wi-Fi name that you connect to. Now, because I didn't see a specific MLO, multi-link operation option with ASUS, I actually just connected, I did a tri-band, a smart connect, which connects the 2.45 and the six gigahertz into one. 
And when I connected with my OnePlus 11 and Galaxy S24 Ultra, I did a speed test and I got very fast speeds, which pretty much indicates to me that I am connected uh, to more than one band at the same time. Otherwise, with the 6 GHz, which is the fastest of the three uh, by itself, I would cap out right around 2 uh, gigabits per second, which is very, very fast, but with Wi-Fi 7 can go faster. So in addition to that, with this, I noticed something different that ASUS has done that I haven't seen before, which is really awesome, worth mentioning. So typically with routers, you get your main SSID, you get a guest SSID, and with some routers, you get an Internet of Things SSID. Uh, which which is pretty much for smart home devices if you want to use that. Now, smart home devices can connect to your main SSID or the guest network, uh, so you don't need a separate one, but it's, it's nice to have. With this one, there are a lot of options. You can make a separate guest. You can make a timed guest. You can make a different one. You can make a custom one that lasts forever. You can make an Internet of Things. You can make a kid's Wi-Fi with this thing, and you can limit that. So... This thing, in terms of SSID, is amazing. It basically has VLAN built in, uh, very simplified. So um, I thought that was incredible because from all the routers I've tested, I've never seen one that can do that in such a simplified form. And most of them can't even do that. But this one not only does it, but does it in a very simplified form. And you can, again, you can even make custom SSIDs and have more than one. So it was, it was honestly very, very nice to see that. But it also has like a whole bunch of other options. Really could customize it like crazy. Uh, and again, if you go to the web page, which is the default gateway, uh, which is 192.168.50.1, I believe, for this one, way more options there. So... Is it worth getting this beast? Why or why not? Well, this thing is very fast with very good range. It has two 10 gig ports, which are very important because you can actually have internet speeds up to 10 gigs. I mean, this can support that. And if you have a 10 gig unmanaged switch or a 10 gig managed switch, you can actually get a full 10 gig LAN going because this has two 10 gig ports. So if you, again, if the internet goes in at up to 10 gigs, it can also come out at up to 10 gigs, which is fantastic. Some routers, it goes in at 10 gigs and it comes out as gig or comes out as 2.5. So I love the fact that they have at least two of those. Now the other ports are gigabit speeds, so you could use those as well. Uh, but I love the fact that it has the two 10 gig ports. Uh, in addition to that, you can get, if you get one of these, it's not enough. Like if you have a very large home and it's just not getting enough coverage, you could get another one of these and hook it up via AI mesh. So assuming uh, if you're getting another ASUS router that supports AI mesh. Now, I personally like getting the same exact model number, but you don't have to, assuming the other ASUS router also supports AI mesh. They can talk to each other, but you typically want your best router to be your main router and you want the secondary one to just be as an access point. So with that said, absolute beast, no drops, super fast. What I would expect from this thing looks really cool. I like the fact that you could customize these. I mean, move, rotate these antennas and they are pretty sturdy. So with that, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. And as always, smash that subscribe button. I have way more router and mesh Wi-Fi videos coming up. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.